Oh, <laughs> if you want to see my thoughts and reviews on this brand new Pat McGrath Mothership 8 palette, then please keep on watching. <laughs> Today, we are going to talk about this brand new, well, y'all know it's, it's, it's new to me. It, it may not be new to the beauty community because you know, honey, if you don't do a review in a week, it, you consider old news. But guess what? I've been busy, y'all, with corona, okay? You know, these, these, this, this virus, you know, has taken over things. But uh, on a more positive note, we're going to talk about this brand new Pat McGrath palette, Mothership 8, Divine Rose number 2, up in here, up in here. All right, guys, so I want to give you guys my thoughts on this palette because if you guys seen my, if any, any of you all have seen my review that I did on the Pat McGrath quad, Y'all know I had a mouthful to say about them quads, child. <sighs> Y'all know I was tired of the gold. But, you know, I mean, it didn't change, you know. It hadn't changed, but you know what? I had seen a couple of reviews done on this palette, and it's nice, y'all. Mama had to go and get it. I had to break on down and get it. Break it on down, break it on down, break it on down. Ugh. It's, it's nice, y'all. Now, I will say this. I did not get Divine Rose 1. I did not. I felt like the colors in Divine Rose 1 was too pinkish. Um, for my skin tone, I thought that it's just, uh, this is a soft pink palette. You know, there's been a couple of brands that have done all pink. And I love pink. But when you start getting into the mauves and the baby pinks and stuff like that, I tend to shy away from those. Mainly because those baby pinks tend to turn up more ashy on me. And they don't make for good transition colors. So I I, I just don't get them. And you know, as, as much as I think the, the palettes that Pat McGrath put out are geared towards... Uh, women of all shades and colors. I think that when you start getting into the pinks, like the baby pinks and the mauves and the those kind of colors, I feel that they don't normally show up that well on me. So they show up a little ashy. And um, yeah, mama don't have time for ashy. Mm -mm. We don't do ashy. So a lot of times I tend to shy away from those palettes and stuff like that. But I will say this one right here, y'all. Mm. Even though there are a lot of pinks in this palette, I do feel that this palette is dark skin girl friendly. It, the colors show up very well. They swatch very well. They build very well. Like, I didn't have to do a whole lot of building at all. Like, I didn't, I mean, like, mm. the look that I'm wearing today came from this palette. Everything came from this palette except for of course the glitter on the inside. That was just um that was just a little glitter that I got online. You can you can get any glitters like this online. They you know as messy as they can be. The messier they are, the better they are. Yeah, those are the ones you want. The ones that are messy and gonna get all over your face. Yes, the loose glitters. Those. Get those. The glitter and the liner at the bottom here, that's from the um, uh, LA Girl Super Shop. That's their their uh, neon collection that LA Girl came out with. Just, a, just a, you know, a purple liner to kind of brighten things up a little bit. But everything else came from this palette. And I'm telling you, I was very, I was impressed, y'all. I mean, the color payoff is very nice. Um, like I said, it builds very, very easily, very pretty. Um, I thought it was very nice. 
and uh, like I said, all the colors showed up very well on my skin tone. I'm going to swatch the colors for you guys so you can see what the colors look like. But I will say this, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 10 colors. Of course, you get in all of her Mothership palettes, you get 10 shades. Now, I hope I, I hope the exposure is turned down. I tried to turn the exposure down for you guys. True picture of these colors. Um, I know sometimes it's hard because we're fighting, you know, as YouTubers. We're trying to give you guys, trying to make it lighter so you can see, but then trying to make it dark enough so you can actually see the actual color of the palette. Again, you know, this is um, Pat McGrath's signature packaging. Uh, you have the lacquer finish with the Pat McGrath logo. And then on the back, all her palettes look like this. Her big mothership palette looks like this. And then you get the 10 shades on the inside retailing for 125 Now, for all those who feel that 125 is steep for a palette, let me say this. If you are someone who love makeup and, I mean, to the point where you build palettes. I have palettes that I have built myself um, the way I, I like them. Uh, you're going to spend that kind of money building palettes. ABH has single shades that they sell for $12 a shade, a single shade. So if you was to buy 10 of their shades, they're single shades just like this. If you was to buy 10 of them, well, you, you've already paid for a Pat McGrath palette. So what I would say, if you can afford it, if it fits within your budget and you can afford it i say yeah i think it's a nice palette you got to remember that pat mcgrath is a luxury it's a luxury brand you know when you get into palettes like this these become collectibles they become uh collection items you know it's it's almost like you you know you you you're putting one of her palettes into your collection of makeup now um, hey, you know, you know, everybody can afford to get all the moisture palettes because all the moisture palettes sell for 125 So no, you know, if you can't afford to buy all of them or whatever, that's fine too. But I will say this, if you're looking for like an everyday look, and I almost, I thought that, uh, Mothership 5, uh, Bronze Seduction, I thought that was like the palette for every like that was all that was just the palette to go to for every day if you wanted to do an everyday look i still feel that way i do i still feel that way however i think this is a nice one too guys for work if you want to wear it to work i think i think this is a nice palette um this look that i have on right now i think it is very subtle very pretty um and i think you could uh pull it off going to work um even if you didn't want to do the goals, like there's so much you can do with this palette. If you are a beginner, you know, guys, y'all know I cater to beginners. I like beginners. But if you um, wanted to get a palette like this, um, one of her palettes, I do. I, I would recommend either this one or Mothership 5 for everyday, like if you want to do an everyday look. Um, because if you're not heavy into makeup, meaning if you're the type of person that the only time you put on makeup is when you go going to a family event or you go going to the Christmas dinner, no, you don't need to buy a palette like this. You don't. You don't need to buy it because more than likely it's going to sit on your shelf. You're not going to use it and it's going to go to waste. Um, you know, I, I, I wouldn't recommend it. If you're not going to use it. But if you are a makeup lover, junkie, like me, I, yeah, I think this is a nice one to have in your collection. Definitely a nice one to have in your collection, for sure. I'm not too keen on Divine Rose 1. I think it's a little, little too light for me. But Divine Rose 2, definitely, if you're a brown girl, I think you might like Divine Rose 2, for sure. So, I am going to go ahead and swatch these shades for you so you guys can see uh what the colors look like um i'm gonna, do, I'm gonna swatch to... starting from here and just go down to about right there and then i'm gonna stop i'm gonna do the first uh 
colors like that and then I'm gonna take them off and then because it's hard for me to really do this swatch this is a real pretty one y'all this one right here look at that I hope y'all can see this because you know I rely heavily on swatches before I buy palettes you know from youtubers I do I rely heavily and if if the swatches don't look that good it's hard for me to make a decision on whether or not I want to get the palette so I kind of I'm trying to do you guys some justice by um, giving you guys some decent swatches um, it's hard because I'm not good at swatching at all I'm not but I know how it is when you brown baby and you want to know before you get that palette I know I know what time it is look at that look at that y'all now I don't know what this picking up like this first one right here I don't know what that one's picking up like on camera but I'm gonna tell y'all something that color right there in person is more of a it looks like a pink highlighter or something it is it's it's pink it's in the, definitely in the pink family that was pretty oh yeah that this middle well go back up this one that was pretty real pretty this one is a very nice um transition color very nice transition color this one that one's pretty too pink in the pink family all these are pretty much in the pink family okay but it's a deeper pink um, and I do think it's, it's, uh, it's more of a pink that someone of a deeper skin tone could really, really use, you know, and it's going to show up very well, you know, it's going to show up extremely well. So those were the first, uh, five shades. Okay. Now I'm going to do the last five shades. Okay. This is, you know, again, all of them gear more in the pink family. This is a pink palette. Okay. So you don't want pink. Don't get the pad. Okay, thanks. All right, so this is um now this this gold that I was telling you about. This is the the copper orange gold that I was kind of telling you about that I liked. That's on my lids. Okay, and then she that next shade is more has more of a shift to it, and then she has um. This last one is more of a bright color gold. And these are her special shades towards the end. Okay. Now I'm gonna look at my I'm gonna look at my mirror. You guys look at the camera. I'm gonna look at my mirror. Okay, because I oh god, this shift. Oh my god. Y'all, I wonder if y'all can see this. This right here, one of her special shades. This is a nice inner corner. You can use that as a nice inner corner, okay? This one right here, this is a gold. It's more of a, you know, it reminds me, it's a true, it's, it's a gold. It's, it's a real gold goal. It's, um, I'm trying to think, maybe closer to Rihanna's, uh, that, uh, Trophy Wife. Not as bright as Trophy Wife, but definitely, uh, in that family, similar. This one right here, guys, this has a shift to it. I don't know if you guys can see that shift, but it's shifting pinkish green so pretty look at that green i don't know if you guys can see that look at that this is crazy pretty crazy y'all this one right here is the color that i have on my lid this is a looks like a a, a copper gold i like the copper golds i think they are they're really pretty you can do a lot with copper golds you definitely can do neutral looks with copper golds very pretty and then this one right here uh, looks like it's more in the hot pink slash magenta family, maybe. But it's pretty. It's a pretty pink. But that's the last five shades. But, um, man, um, I think they are so pretty. I, I think she did a very nice job with this palette. I can tell you right now, I'm going to be using this palette a lot. A lot. I probably will use, I would probably say so far and... Man, I'm 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 shocked to say this. I, I really am. I'm surprised. I'm really surprised to say this, but I think a lot of I, I think she put a lot of effort into this one. And I'm not to say that she don't put effort in, in effort into her palace. I'm not saying that. Um, but this one, 
I like it, y'all. I really do. And I think it's so brown girl friendly. And I just, I just love it. I think it's just a great neutral palette. You can wear it to work. You can wear it to an event. You can wear, man. You can wear it anywhere. I, I just think it's a it's a it's a nice palette. You know, of course, um, towards the end here, these last uh, couple of shades here, these shades in this this quad right here, these are considered her special shades. Okay, this is more of um, this looks like more of a, a shimmer. It has a shimmer to it. This one has a shimmer to it as well. I know it's looking matte on camera, but this definitely has a shimmer to it. Okay. You're going to be surprised at a lot of these shades have shimmers. That one has a shimmer. It looks matte on camera. The only ones that are really matte, because this one has a shimmer as well. This one is a matte. This one is a matte. Okay? The rest of these have some type of shimmer. That's a shimmer. That's a shimmer. That's a shimmer. That's a shimmer. These are her special shades, meaning these are great toppers. Now, this one right here has a lot of pigment to it okay i put it on my top lid and you guys can see but it has a lot of pigment to it it's not sheer not sheer at all okay um this one sheer this is a sheer color definitely sheer definitely sheer over here as well um this is the one that has the shift to it you probably can see it in the pan see how it's shifting pink but um uh, it's got a shift to it of course you know you have some kick kickback. I used this palette just before doing coming on to do this video to do this eye look. I don't care about kick up. You know, I, I just don't. I really don't. Um, I think the look turned out really pretty. On the um the main color that you see here that I brought under the lower lash line is this dark. Uh, this is this is this color right here. Bay. It's dope, okay? All thing I, I can tell you, you don't even have to build it up. I mean, like, I I had to, like, out when I first put it on, I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. This is a lot of pigment. Like, I mean, it was taking over. It was taking over the look, and I was like, go easy. Go easy on these colors. This, this, it, it, this is a nice palette. She did a good job. The color payoff is good. I promise you, you will not have to dig, dig, and dig. You don't. Again, like I said in one of my other reviews that I did on the quads, um, these colors here, these shades here, a lot of time, these colors like this, best applied with your finger, okay? Um, these shades here, you know, you, it looks good when, when I swatch, but, you know, you want to see how sheer it is. It's very sheer, okay? You, you, you're going to get the best payoff with your finger, you know, and that's probably the only thing that sometimes annoy me because I'm not a, I'm not a finger person. I like brushes. So if any, if you watch my videos, you know, that's all I talk about is brushes. I love brushes. I put this, I, I did this look, uh, with a lot of synthetic brushes. I didn't even use any of my high end brushes. I used a lot of the synthet synthetic brushes. So I don't even think you need to run out and get any expensive brushes. That's just how good the, the color payoff is on this palette. It just, it applies well. It builds up well. You don't have to do a lot at all. So I did this look um, using the shades that I use for this look is this one. Started out as the transition color. Uh, this one darkened up the outer V and the inner corner. I did more of a halo look. And then I applied uh, this carpet shade on top. And then I went back over the inner corner and outer V with this shade here. Blending out. And this shade went on the lower lash line. And then that uh, eyeliner that I showed you guys earlier. That's what I used for the eyeliner. And, um, you know, uh, just popped a little glitter um, just for fun. Um, for the lips. I used uh, one of her glosses. Okay, so this one is Bronze Div Div Divinity. That's the name of this one, Bronze Divinity. But it looks like this. And um, uh, her glosses are nice. It's just sometimes they wear easily. You know, meaning I lose the pigment. You know, you put it on and then you lose it a little bit. Now, I applied it on top of, um, I had used this lipstick by ABH. One of their lipsticks. 
uh, this one right here. This one is in the shade uh, Honey. It's a matte lipstick by AVH. So I applied Honey first, and then I went on top with the Pat McGrath um, lip gloss. And I lined my lips with Night Moth by MAC. Okay? So that's what I did. For the cheeks, this for the uh, blush. This is a blush that I got out of Sasha's palette. I'll show you guys anyway because... One thing I can't stand is when somebody do a review on something, don't tell me what's on your face. I want to know what you're wearing. So, <laughs> I said I was going to change that. But for the blush, what I have on my, my cheeks, it, it came from this palette here. This is um, a Sasha Blush palette. Uh, and that, it, She has two. So, it's the one for deeper skin tone, okay? Um, but it was this color right here I pulled from right there. That's what I have on my cheeks. And for the highlight is that uh, Carper highlight from Becca. So um, that's what I have on my face total. Um, but guys, I just want to come on here and give you guys a review of this palette. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I like this palette, y'all. This is very nice. I'm going to be definitely using this palette a lot. Okay? So, um... You know, just so you guys can get an idea. I don't know when it's going to be back in stock at Sephora. If Sephora has restocked it. I know when I looked, it was, it was out of stock. But I don't know um, if um, the actual Pat McGrath site has um, sold out of it as well. I'm not sure. It didn't look before I came on to do this video. But um, I would check both places just to see if it in stock. If you uh, really do want it, you know, check it out and see. And, um, guys, y'all know I'm trying to do better with getting these videos up and popping and going. But I'm telling y'all, this, this virus is, is something serious, y'all. I mean, it's been taking up a lot of my time, my feeling time, just trying to get these videos out to you guys. But I'm trying to be more consistent. I ain't going to try to be more consistent to all my viewers. I love you all. Y'all know I love all, everyone who constantly comes back and watch my videos and support me. Thank you so much. I really, 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 really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I really, really do. But anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please do share my videos and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, y'all. Yeah. Alright guys, so until the next video, I will see you soon. Bye guys.